In today's video, I'll show you how to obtain the new heritage armor and weapon for Blood Elves and also the Blood Elf specific mount, Elusive Emerald Hawkstrider. First, let's cover what is required to be able to get both the mount and the transmog. First up, you'll need a level 60 Blood Elf character. Second, you'll need to be exalted with Silver Moon with that specific character. And that is all you need for the mount. To be able to get the pole arm for Transmog, you'll need to have a Blood Elf as a class that can actually wear a pole arm, or you will not get the Transmog, it seems. So basically only Warrior, Death Knights, and Paladins. Also, to obtain the Blood Knight armor set, you have to be a Blood Elf Paladin specifically. You can only use Transmog as a Paladin as well. However, the pole arm can be used on any class and race combination. Once those requirements are met, you'll have to do a 16 quest quest chain. The quest chain starts in Oribos at Lady Liadrin, located right here. She'll give you the quest summons from the Matriarch. The whole quest chain took me about 30 minutes to complete. The first quest will send you to Silvermoon, so take the portal to Okramar and from here to Silvermoon. And in Silvermoon, you'll be filled in on the ongoing issues. I'll try my best not to spoil too much in the video, but you will probably be slightly spoiled if you continue watching, so beware. From here, you'll be sent to Tranquillion in the Ghostlands to do four quests. Basically, it's kill some mobs and gather a weapon. After that, you'll be sent to Bastion and Maldraxxus. You'll get a portal to Orgrimmar from the quest giver. From here, take the portal to Ouroboros and fly to either Bastion or Maldraxxus. Whichever you choose first doesn't matter. In Bastion, you'll raise a Kyrian boy. Keep in mind that you cannot do that mounted. I tried it. And in Maldraxxus, you'll fight a arena fighter 1v1. Both places will help you empower the weapon you gathered in the Ghostlands. So once completed, you'll be sent back to Tranquillion, fly back to Ouroboros and get the portal to Orgrimmar, then Silvermoon. And from here, you'll have to run to the Tranquillion, which is south of Silvermoon. Finally, you'll have to use the weapon you empowered to slay a great enemy. Once you reach the final fight, you'll want to keep in mind that you have to either burst the ravens he spawns or kill them or kite them. Because if you're not that well geared, they heal him for more than you can deal damage if they reach the boss. It took me a great deal of kiting to be able to actually kill the boss as a 232 newly dinged demon hunter. Once you've killed him, you'll get the polearm as a cosmetic reward if you're playing a class that can use a polearm. The next quest is the final one where you're sent back to Silvermoon to collect your new mount, the elusive Emerald Hawkstrider, and the Blood Knight armor set if you are a paladin. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Consider leaving a like, a dislike, or even subscribe if you want to be notified for my future content. I do a couple of mount guides now and then, and I plan to make a full coverage of Dragonflight once it is relevant. Once again, thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Bye.